What sets apart a mere conqueror from a ruler whose name echoes through the corridors of history? Is it not the sheer determination and the ability to solve complex problems? Today we cast our minds back to the era of one such legendary figure, Alexander the Great. In the year 356 before the Common Era, Alexander was born to Philip II of Macedonia. The young prince grew under the tutelage of Aristotle, instilling the seeds of greatness. Fast forward to 336 before the Common Era, Alexander ascended to the throne following his father's assassination. At a tender age of 20, he inherited not only a kingdom, but also a mission to liberate the Greeks living under Achaemenid rule in Anatolia. The ascension of a young king sparked revolts among the Greek city-states in the west of Anatolia. However, the discouragement of Macedonian troops following Philip's death soon turned into a wave of victories. Alexander, with his unyielding spirit, began preparing for his campaign against the Persian Empire. He left the regency to Antipater and, in the spring of 334 before the Common Era, set out with an army of over 35,000 men. Alexander's campaign began with a symbolic visit to Troy. He placed a wreath on Achilles' tomb, drawing inspiration from the legendary Greek warrior. This marked the beginning of his unstoppable march. The first significant victory came at the Battle of Granicus, where he led the charge against the Persians, displaying his unmatched bravery and strategic brilliance. As Alexander moved through Anatolia, he overthrew tyrants and established democracies. His strategic prowess was further displayed in the siege and capture of Miletus and Halicarnassus. One of the most iconic moments of his campaign came when he cut through the Gordian Knot, a symbol of solving complex problems with simple solutions. This act left soldiers and locals in awe, further solidifying his legendary status. From Gordian to Ansira, then towards Cappadocia and the Cilician Gates, Alexander's strategic movements through Anatolia were nothing short of a masterclass in military strategy. His confrontation with King Darius III at the Battle of Issus was intense, resulting in Darius fleeing and leaving his family behind. Alexander's advance towards Syria and Phoenicia aimed to neutralize the Persian navy by capturing coastal cities. Despite the fierce resistance of Tyre, Alexander's forces managed to capture the fortified island city after a seven-month siege. His ambition to conquer all of Asia was clear when he rejected Darius III's peace offer. Alexander then moved towards Egypt, where he was welcomed as a liberator. Here he founded the city of Alexandria and was proclaimed the son of Zeus at the Oracle of Siwa, further enhancing his divine status among his followers. The Battle of Gogamila between Alexander and Darius III was a testament to Alexander's strategic brilliance. His entry into Babylon as a liberator and the symbolic act of burning the palace of Xerxes in Persepolis marked the pinnacle of his revenge for the Persian Wars. Alexander's campaigns did not stop at Persia. He ventured into India, forming a new army with local soldiers, preparing for battles in the rugged terrain. His determination and strategic brilliance continued to shine through, leaving a lasting impact on the regions he conquered. Alexander the Great, his name resonates with greatness, not merely for his conquests, but for his ability to solve complex problems, his unmatched strategic brilliance, and his sheer determination. His legacy continues to inspire, proving that with determination and the right strategies, one can indeed conquer the world. Alexander's influence on history is profound, shaping the course of events long after his demise. His story is a testament to the power of human will and the pursuit of a vision, reminding us that greatness is not a destination, but a journey.